give you an option to edit. Hello, fellow Spoonies. Welcome to episode five. We are your hosts. I'm Misty. And I'm Amber. And today we are talking about goals, how to set small manageable goals for success. As always, a quick disclaimer, anything mentioned in today's episode is strictly for informational purposes only and not meant to treat, diagnose, or cure disease. Also, we know battling chronic illness can be difficult, so if you find that you or a loved one are in need of someone to talk to, please reach out to a trusted resource. <clears throat> if you're in the U.S., you can call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Again, that number is 1-800-273-8255. Now let's get started. Yes. So Yay. I love this topic so much. Um, personally, for me, setting goals is um, super important and crucial for my mental health and mental well-being. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I feel like, especially having chronic illness, I feel like we're prone to depression. Um, you know, it, it's it's a hard thing to deal with in general you know maybe we have vitamin deficiencies I mean our chemical makeup everything there's so many different components but um, it's a lot to deal with so a lot of us kind of struggle with depression I feel like and for me personally that's why I love setting goals because it's it's how I feel like I have a little bit of control in my life it's how I get things done um, it's it's just how I keep you know my morale high and all of that good stuff. <laughs> How Absolutely. It's the little victories. <clears throat> no, I'm the same way. Um, you know, I, I used to take on these really big goals when I was healthier and when I had more energy. And I find that, especially if I'm in a flare, um, the key to success for me is to set short-term goals, which for those listening that don't know what a short-term goal is, basically those are the ones that you set either, oh, cat time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> by cats. No, it's good. Um, <laughs> that uh, you set, you know, basically for the day. So a daily goal, um, a weekly goal, yeah. a monthly goal, or a yearly goal. So they're ones, short-term goals are ones that you can actually, you know, get to rather quickly so that it kind of helps keep that morale going. Um, so I have a little like fun, like an acronym that I use, <laughs> which makes me a total dork, but oh, I love it's it. just the way, it's just the way that I can kind of keep myself on task. Um, so short-term goals, I say you want to keep them smart. So it's S-M-A-R-T. So specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. And these are the ones that apply to, you know, short-term goals. Obviously, large goals are a little different. Um, so like for specific, um, it would be something like, okay, so if I want to meditate daily, you want to really define what that means. So do you want to meditate first thing in the morning? Do you want to meditate before bed? Um, do you want to set a goal of like, I want to read more, making sure that it's specific um, to, you know, not just reading, but actually like defining what that is. Measurable, um, again, goes along. If you make a statement like, I want to meditate, your example would be specifically, I want to meditate for 10 minutes, at 10 a.m. every day. So you kind of have defined when you're going to do it. So that way, not only are you making sure you block time, but you know, you know specifically what you're doing, not just like, yeah. and I, I love like that you're giving an today. example. Um, also like for reading, let's say you wanted, your specific goal was to read more. To break it down further, you would say, um, your goal is I'm gonna read a book a month. So you would take the total number of pages, divide it by days, so like 30 days, um, and then that's your specific goal for the day. So that would be your daily goal. Oh, like I'm going to read 20 pages, you know, and then by the end of the month, oh, wow. you've broken it up and you've actually completed that one book a month goal. Um, making sure it's attainable. That one is what I struggle with all the time. And attainable and realistic kind of go together because, and we've joked about this on our Instagram, but like you know, you start out the day like wanting to conquer because most people yes. tend to have a little bit of, you know, more energy in the morning and you say, I'm going to do, you know, 10 things. And then by like two hours into it, you're pretty fatigued. So attainable and realistic, I kind of like 
you know, instead of throwing out, um, you know, I'm going to climb Mount Everest, maybe it would be something more like I'm going to walk to the mailbox Monday through Friday <laughs> and get the mail. Absolutely. So it's just starting. It's not saying that you couldn't ever climb Mount Everest. I think it's a really great long-term goal. But as far as getting to that, it's kind of like with the book and breaking down pages, short-term goals, make it, not only do you have that feedback of reward. So like I accomplished walking to the mailbox, you know, Monday through Friday this week, like I feel really good about that. Then you can kind of keep that larger goal on the back burner. And as you build up stamina, you may or may not be able to hit it. So I think that that's really important. You know, it's kind of like when people say, I want to be a millionaire, but then they don't really have a savings plan. Like you have to break it down. Yes. So, um, and then T. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's um, T again? <laughs> T is, T is timely. So basically okay. the, it, it kind of goes with the measurable as well. So it's got to be able to be done in a lot of time. So like, you know, obviously if you're wanting to grow out your hair, you can't really measure that. Um, daily because you can't really see your hair grow daily but like the end of the month it's something like that or if you wanted to lose 10 pounds you know sustainably you want to make sure that it's measurable um and completed in like a realistic time so there are a couple different um reasons that I have given myself these short-term goals because I used to do triathlons and like for me I would be like hey I feel like doing a triathlon in two months I'm gonna sign up and do it (laughs) <laughs> and for those of you that don't know what a triathlon is, it's it's basically running, swimming, and biking oh, yeah. um, all done in one race. And so, you know, you, I could get by with maybe not training very regular, uh, very uh, hard. My brain's not working today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I can kind of get by with a sprint, which are the smaller ones, smaller distances. But now I kind of take a step back and I'm like okay so I haven't been able to sustainably walk a mile and I haven't been able to swim for very long so now I break those up and I'll you know for me I use the mailbox one a lot so like I'm like all right this week I'm gonna walk to the mailbox (laughs) five days or three days and then next week you know if I'm feeling okay I'm gonna increase it so it just helps me keep perspective and not feel so defeated (laughs) because I don't know about you but like when you start focusing on things that you can't do anymore, I think it gets a little disheartening. And like you say, it leads to like feeling depressed because, you know, you're, you're not, the things that made you, you don't feel like, you know, you anymore. So. Absolutely. Yeah. I just made a blog post the other day about grieving your old self, former self. Such a good one. Accepting the new. Um, So, which is very true. So my method is super similar to yours. So a lot of the things Mm -hmm. you're saying, totally like makes sense to me um so something that I came up with I call it the goal ladder so it's similar you start with small and short-term goals and that's called your goal ladder so as you climb up your ladder you climb your way up to the top to your big goal Um, so like an example that for example I would say like getting back to school Um, well that wasn't as easy as it sounds I didn't just walk in one day and hey I want to go back to school (laughs) Um, I owed like $500 from like 10 years ago. I had, I wasn't an active student anymore. I had, I had a lot of stuff to do, which is super discouraging and, Mm -hmm. um, is something that could totally throw somebody off or make them want to give up or just be like, forget it. Um, and so using that as an example, basically what I did was, you know, time is going to continue to pass us by no matter what. So I just, um, I just set these short-term goals, like number one, let's pay off that fine that I owe. Um, so that way I can become an active student again. You know, so once that was paid off, it was now I'm going to reapply to be an active student. And then after that, I had to sign up for financial aid or whatever, um, and just continue to take these little steps, which honestly, I want to say it took like almost a year over time because I, you know, one of them was my a student loan that was in, in default. Um, so over a year, I just quietly like did these little tasks to give myself the option. Like I wasn't even 100% sure I wanted to go. I just wanted to clear things up. So that way, if and when I did want to go back to school, it was ready. So that's an example of these short uh, little goals that I kind of 
eventually got to and then I made it to the top of my ladder which was wow I'm in school love it, love it. <laughs> so um you know if if you're listening today so we have a few ways that people can listen um or watch our show so we have the youtube which is like a show you can see us we're talking whatever and then we have the <laughs> podcast where you're maybe driving in your car or cleaning and uh listening so those who are watching, <laughs> I'm just going to show my laundry pile. <laughs> that I'm Love doing. laundry piles. <laughs> um, so, you know, like just having a chronic illness um, or even if not, like this is a great episode for anyone, healthy, chronic illness, whatever. Um, Absolutely. You know, there's little things like, you know, trying to clean your house or get to the bottom of your laundry. And so you know, again, using the goals, you can set small goals, whether it's, you know, on Sunday, I'm going to catch up with my laundry every Sunday. And, right. you know, Monday, I'm going to, you know, sweep because, you know, whatever. <laughs> so Absolutely. Having like, for me, a schedule also makes a huge difference because I'll go on my phone and I'll, it'll be like, you know, I have all my bill reminders like days before um, and then the day of and, right. you know, like go to the bank, whatever. I put all my little things in my phone to kind of remind myself and schedule. Which, yeah, which we actually had some great suggestions back on episode three. Um, if you haven't listened to that episode, check it out because we um, put in some different apps. So Missy and I talked about digital versus analog. So, you know, everybody's a little oh, yeah. different with how they like to track. So, um, cause I actually had that on to talk about, um, cause there's a few apps, which we'll insert in just a second to show you a screenshot, um, on how you can track goals, which like for Misty, she's mentioning, she uses her phone a lot for me. I'm more, um, analog. So I print out like chore charts <laughs> for myself. I keep in my bullet journal. Um, I keep on the refrigerator. So like, does the husband appearance? Oh no, the well, sorry. No. <laughs> the boys are about to leave. Oh, uh, hi boys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Misty has twins. <laughs> um, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, so no, it's okay. No, so we um, so you know, we mentioned back in episode three using a bullet journal for tracking, but it works really great for goals too, because like in my bullet journal, I have like thirty day trackers, and so some of the instant reward that I get is at the end of the day, I can cross off things that I'm able to do. And then yeah. at the end of that 30 days, I can kind of see where I'm struggling because I need to be able to, that's part of the measure for me is I need to be able to see like, Oh, like I set a goal to shower 30 days, you know, this month, but I did not shower that much. So, <laughs> so where do I need to kind of adjust or, you know, and I can, and because I track like things like my sleep and my food, I can kind of start to see patterns of where, yeah. you know, like maybe, you know, I didn't eat so well. And so I felt terrible for the next two days. So I didn't shower. Yeah. So it's like, you know, things like that kind of just help me with the, those check-ins, um, which I think if we can insert the picture really quick, I will show you an example of um, a habit tracker. Ooh, I see melting pot. <laughs> um, so while she is pulling up her photo, for those of you who are watching, because right now I see melting pot. <laughs> um, for me, I don't necessarily, I love, you know, writing things down and checking things off. I think it's beautiful and it's just, a really cool way to do that and sometimes I'll get a journal and um, I will you know get started on that and sorry I'm only tasking I thought I'm going to text her that I lost her <laughs> um, anyway so I will um, get started on that where I'm you know adding to um, my you know crossing things off whatever but then I feel like after a couple of days um, things just kind of get buried so my office is a disaster and after like a few days 
my um, journal or planner. There she is. <laughs> I was saying how, technical difficulties. <laughs> I was just saying how like I love how you you know use your charts and stuff and um, but for me personally, I feel like after a week or so, mine will just totally disappear and be hidden right. in my office and then you know months go by and I'm like oh man I forgot to keep up with this so I guess for me it's easier to track it through my phone um and in my calendar on my phone because then I can just kind of slide it over to the next day if I run out of steam um you know and kind of schedule these things at a different day absolutely I'm having all sorts of technical difficulties (laughs) today (laughs) like all so for those, for those of you who <laughs> are tuning in with us, we always like to tell everyone how much we appreciate them and how absolutely we're we're growing, we're learning. Exactly. It's not perfect, but that's kind of <laughs> we had posted I left a typo in the other day. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I saw that I le- <laughs> in the girl. <laughs> yeah, someone had commented, which I love. So don't like yeah, no, I love because Misty and I are huge on grammar. But when I had created the in the app that we use when I was making um the actual picture I saw it and I'm such a perfectionist that it I immediately went to change it and I opted not to because it was one of those little like course corrections for me where I'm like I talk about having grace and having you know I want people to know that we're real we're not super polished produced you know you know, so it's, it's important, I think, <laughs> it's important to be able to say, oh. <laughs> it's important oh, to be able to, <laughs> love you too, sorry, I'm saying bye to my kids, yeah, we're, oh, basically no, you're what you're saying is it's important for people to know, like, we're human, yeah, we're, we're human, and alive. I think, I mean, I appreciate when people that I follow share, you know, their mistakes, just because it's like, oh yeah, you too, like, you know, you're not perfect, and you're not, you know, you um, don't have people, other people running your account yeah. to make sure that there's, a, you know, everything's perfect. Cause I just, to me, perfect is boring. I mean, it's nice on Instagram to see it every once in a while, but I really, the people I really enjoy following are the people that are a hot mess. Like we are. Yeah. <laughs> so, raw, genuine, real <laughs> drop. Yeah, people there. that I'd like to hang I've out with on the weekend. <laughs> Middle of the kids <laughs> leaving to go to their dad's. Exactly. You know, <laughs> that's real life. <laughs> Yeah, and we're the type that we're we're down to earth, and we're also that's part of our community too. Is that you know we're all we all have you know we're just being real. So I mean, right. that's, we're not the type that we're gonna show our perfectly posh, clean, organized corner. We'll yeah. show you our laundry pile too. And my husband yes. is <laughs> dancing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, but I think that that's part of this community is being able to take a step back and say like you know nobody even if you set all of the right goals and you do all the right things with all the right tools you may still have no control over your disease flaring or having sad days or whatever so I mean we want to show that that's built in that there's you don't completely get derailed because you have you know a few days or a few weeks or even a bad year like your goals are still attainable. Everything that, that makes you you that you want to accomplish is absolutely possible. You just and have to do it a little differently exactly. than before. And here's my thing is that a lot of people are so hard on themselves because, you know, maybe many people are homebound and they're not very social or out often. So everything that they see on the internet th- through their feed are everyone's highlights. You know, people right, are right. posting their their happy children before they have a meltdown you know right. like we're not seeing the meltdown we're seeing the happy kid you know and we're seeing the clean corner of someone's house not the laundry pile sitting next to them right, you know right. we're we're seeing the happy couple and we're not very edited that they're version. arguing over whatever like we're seeing the highlights of everyone's lives and then we sit there and compare ourselves to that right. you know Which because is not we real. know our reality we know our our lows and and then we see like how these people are such a great mom or have these great relationships or great careers or life or, you know, with their beautiful, clean home. Yeah. And that's just and it's not a- real. 
and it's okay to follow, you know, and to, you know, look at that stuff, but just make sure that you're reminding yourself that, that that's not how their life is all the time, no matter what they, they're telling you. Same with people, you know, that look super fit and, you know, warning, cause we're about to talk about weight trigger that, <clears throat> that it's not a healthy balance for people that are, that are really working out and really watching with the, I mean, they'll, they'll tell you like that fluctuates, that changes that like, there's no, just because you see a bodybuilder or something or a fitness model on Instagram that looks, that's perfectly poised and lighted <laughs> does not yeah. mean that's how she looks all the time. So, or he, so, I mean, I think it's important that it's okay to have those, you know, you know, as people that, that inspire you or that you look up to, but just make sure in the back of your mind, you're letting yourself know that that's not how they are 100% of the time. That's not, that right. house does not look like that 100% of the time. <laughs> exactly. And speaking of like health and, you know, weight and stuff, like one of the things my, the intro to healthcare instructor says often is, you know, it's not about your size, what to mm -hmm. determine whether you're healthy or not. It's about, you know, your vitals and your blood work. Absolutely. And everything else. Your that mindset. Don't see. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. you're definitely not defined by stats. Exactly. So that's just a, a side of it. Yeah. So, you know, the reason setting small goals is important is because, you know, like you were saying before, if we have this huge goal um, that we want to accomplish, that's just out of reach, you know, people say like, reach for the stars, just set the goals, go for it. And that's yeah. cute and adorable and makes a really pretty meme. But um, at the end of the day, that is what's going to make be discouraging to people because it's not realistic and people aren't going right. to achieve that right away. So setting that goal ladder or these small goals, they are little ways to just get through life, to help manage your life, um, to help make you feel like you're in control of your life. Um, and use, and to get use all, done. absolutely. And use whatever tools work for you. So, I mean, I'll, I have a post coming up which actually, Missy, if we can make it our photo post that's next if you want. Um, but I use like a passion planner and it basically helps me map out, you know, like you mind map. And I don't know if you're familiar with mind mapping, but you kind of like, right. So let's say you wanted to um, like, we'll use the book example again. Like, let's say you want to read uh, 20 books this year. Basically, you would start that out in the middle and then you would mind map all of the ways that you can possibly brainstorm how to accomplish that goal. And then it kind of works you through steps that make that more attainable so you can break it down on a monthly and then even weekly. And then it has yeah. a month end check in, which I love because a lot of times you get going, especially if you're doing a lot of progress. And at the end of the month or, you know, whatever, you have no idea how far you've come or what you've accomplished because you haven't checked in. Right. So I like that, that it's built into it. So it's just another kind of be like, all right, well, last month went out the door. So <laughs> yeah. know, it was a bad month. I felt sick all month. So yeah, I can kind of happens. refresh and start. Absolutely. And I think that's important to remember, guys, is that build in that net of grace for yourself. It does not mean that you can't do something because you have a few series of, you know, bad hours, bad days, bad weeks, bad months, whatever. You just have to get creative a lot of times and you just have to be patient with yourself, which I am the worst at. <laughs> yeah, me <so> too. Bad. <laughs> I think but most I, people are. Yeah, and I think that, you know, Misty and I kind of have talked about it before, but it's like, you know, try to start getting into a mindset of talking to yourself like you would a child, you know, you would encourage a child when they got discouraged, you wouldn't criticize them and be harsh. So if you start trying to talk to yourself the same way, like I set this goal for myself and I didn't hit any of my marks this week, but that's okay. I learned, I took care of myself, whatever. And then next week is a new week. So yeah, I think it's important to be kind to yourself. Yes, very true. <laughs> it's a prime end to that. <laughs> well, recovering perfectionist over here. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, this is, I think, the perfect episode to be a hot mess and <laughs> to show people, yeah. you know, I like, can't operate like, technology this today. is real life. No, I mean, this Absolutely. is real life. Like I said, it, we're not, we will never try to polish ourselves and show you, um, you know, this pretty, you know, package of us with a but little bow on it. Like, you know, the, we're, we're real and we want you to feel 
that way as well you know absolutely that's, that's a, the other issue I feel like with people with chronic illness is that we feel in a way um you know comparing ourselves to able body people or healthy people where we're like we're missing out or whatever and um, I think we're still scared to show that we have bad days I mean I think that it's just human nature to kind of cover those things up because you know mm -hmm. we're always trying to be positive but I think that if you don't if you ignore and, and don't acknowledge when you're having tough days or messy days or you know laundries all over the couch days like then you're not you're not you're not only doing an injustice to yourself but to everyone else because we've all been yeah. there and we're all there right now so it's like exactly <laughs> yeah and everyone <laughs> has bad do? days everybody so you Absolutely. know that's just something to remember and just set your goals and whatever's easier, whether it's on your phone or in a, a journal, um, you know, if you have Short a really chart with goal. little metallic stars. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you I have a big goal. <laughs> exactly. If you have a big goal that you want to achieve, that's great. Um, but set those little goals to that are your stepping stones to get there and, and you yeah. got this. <laughs> Absolutely. You do got this. <laughs> Yes. So, um, you know, however you found us, those of you who are listening or watching, um, we have an Instagram, which has links to our blog. Um, we're still in the process of a lot of things. So we're about to make that a dot com. Um, in the hey meantime, guys, be kind. We're, we're both yeah. full-time students and we work and we have families. So this is a labor yeah. of love <laughs> for us. This in the next something. month or so it'll be a dot com yeah. for now we've got the wordpress and we just built it and we're going to start making blog posts um you can find our yeah. links on instagram on facebook um share you know yeah if, message you know, us you, reach out absolutely yeah so <laughs> on instagram it's at the invisible diaries um and you can pretty much search that for youtube and facebook and all that and we're on itunes if if you're not listening there um so there's a lot of options to find us and we love to talk and we love to hear your thoughts um so yeah keep in touch and you Absolutely. know yeah and if you have goals share them with us because we love to know what your small goals are like sometimes yeah. when you put it out there it makes it real so if Absolutely. you want to share let us know what your goals are so we can cheer cheer um along with you and we can help you know check in with you to make sure you're on track yeah little accountability buddies exactly <laughs> yep because we're a tribe and a community so um don't forget that but thank yeah. you everybody yeah thank you guys and have a good one